Hola meus amigos! Hello my friends! In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a sunglasses case in 5 simple steps made out of cork leather. Let's get into it! I decided to add the materials in the description below because there's a bit of a long list. We need a pencil, a set of scissors, snap buttons, the tool to set the snap buttons, something to punch a hole through the material, a mallet, a sewing machine, cork leather, and the pattern. And the first step what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our cork leather and turn it upside uh, down so that we are working on, on, the, on the wrong side of the fabric. Then you grab your pattern and you place it uh, in the area that you'd like that you know that the fabric looks nice and that you want to cut through. You trace the lines of your pattern uh, onto the fabric. Um, in my case, you can see me um, doing multiple sunglass cases, so you, you will only need to do that one time. And then with your scissors, you should be able to cut it. Um, the cork leather um, is a material that doesn't fray, so you can just use a regular um, a re regular scissors. Um, what I mean with that is it doesn't have to be a zigzag scissors um, to avoid fraying. The pattern that you see me using in this video is one that I have designed for my own products. You can of course use any pattern that you like, any pattern that you design yourself. Um, but if you'd like to recreate this exact uh, same model or the design that, that I make, you can avail of the template on my website. I'll put the link in the description below. And of course, if you'd like me to create a video about pattern making, let me know as well in the comments and I'd be happy to do that for you. The cork that I use, I like to call rainbow confetti because just a bit of joy, it's just fun colors, bright and glittery. Um, I, cr I get this specific cork um, from Portugal. Portugal is actually the number one producer uh, of cork leather in the world. They produce 90% of all the cork leather that is out there. And if you've ever gone to Portugal and visited Portugal, you will also see a lot of uh, cork leather products. If you wondered why I created you today in Portuguese, now you know why. And if you want to find out more about cork leather, um, I'll put a link in my description as well. I have created an article where I did some research about cork leather. Why is it called leather sometimes? Why is it called fabric? How is it manufactured? How do you protect it? How do you clean it? Etc. So if you're interested, just head over to my blog and, um, and take a look. Next, we want to fold in the raw edge so that we can sew it and have a lovely, nice, neat edge. To do this, um, I use double-sided tape. I paste it on one side. Um, the one that I'm using is about half a centimeter, uh, a little bit more than half a centimeter, and it's just it just gives me the perfect width that I, that I need. Um, once I have folded the fabric over, I use then a uh, they have different names, but I want to say they're called folding bones. Um, and then I use a bit of pressure to sort of like keep it in place and make sure that it won't shift when I am sewing. Once this is ready, you're, re you're good to go and uh, use your sewing machine. This is also a perfect time. If you have a logo and a, and a method to emboss it, this is also a good time to add it. You can see I added my logo there on the, on the left corner. Next, you want to fold the two ends together. In my case, you can clearly see where they sort of start and end. Um, you can then saw the sides and you want to make sure that you saw in such a way that it's as close as possible to where the flap um, sort of ends because when we are folding this inside uh, when we turn it back um, right sides out um, you will it would be like a continuous line now you can trim the excess fabric
The next step is to add the snap button as the closure. You can of course uh, choose different types of closing methods, but I find that this is the best method. In my pattern, I have a little hole that I also mark with a pencil so that I know exactly where to add the hole. If you don't have that yet, um, this is a good moment to like look at where is the center of, um, of that part of your flap where you want to add the button. In my case, the design is a bit uh, asymmetric, so I, I, I place it that far left, but you can place it really anywhere you want. I recommend that you test it with the sunglasses in so that you make sure that it, um, it will close properly as you like. And then uh, you get your um, snap buttons and the, and the setting tools ready. I first always place the top snap button or the button, one of them only first. Um, and then once that is um, set in place, I then measure um, where the other one, the counterpart needs to go with the sunglasses in. This is to make sure that I don't place the second, um, the second part of the snap button in the wrong area in a way that when I put my sunglasses in, it actually can't close because I didn't consider the width of the sunglasses. So that's that's what I'm doing in this step here. I use the hole that I have already created, place the sunglasses in, close it, and then I determine the second hole as it is all in use. Now with the second hole, I'm ready to put the snap button on both sides. Before I can set the snap buttons, I actually like to turn it inside out so that we're looking at the correct side. Um, and this is because it just makes it easier to set um, the, the snap button, particularly the bottom part, because then I can use on the inside, uh, the, the round part of the setting tool and, uh, and then hammer in from, from, from the top. If I didn't turn it um, inside out, I would have to do that the other way around, so I wouldn't be able to hammer as easily with my mallet um, the, the top part of the setting tool. If you'd like to see how to uh, actually set a snap button, let me know in the comments. I have been considering to create some really quick and short um, tutorials on these fundamental skills that are essentially transferable in a variety of crafts and sewing projects. So if that was something that you'd be interested in, let me know uh, and I'll get onto that. Because we have used a snap button that essentially is also on the inside of the bag, of the case, we want to put a protective fabric to avoid any sort of scratches from this metallic uh, snap button piece onto your glasses. That would be a nightmare, right? Um, if you are using a different closure method other than a snap button and other than a metallic piece that will be on the inside of your of your case, you can skip this, um, but else follow the following steps. So I am using um, contact glue, which essentially means that it needs to be applied on both sides that, want, that, that you want to glue to each other. So I have cut a little circle. You can cut a little circle, a little square, or any really any shape that you that you want. 
Um, in my case, I have these little leather cutters, like a, like some something like a die cutter, and I can then um, cut them easily in this round shape. But if you're using your scissor, it might be a bit easier to do a square. It makes really no difference. What you want to also ensure is that on the on this additional protective fabric, you use you go almost to the very end. Um, so that when you're putting the glasses in and out, you are not consistently kind of opening or getting um, uh, sort of like cut, cut, catching the edge of, of this little circle or square. Um, and then you leave it for about five minutes in, in my case, usually with the glue that I'm using, make sure that you check the instructions of it. And then once um, it's a bit tacky, so it, it looks almost as if it's completely dry, but when you touch it, it, it feels a bit tacky. Um, you then want to apply it and make sure that you add quite a bit of pressure all around, not just the center, but all around, so that, again, you don't catch any edges when you're using um, the material. And finally, this is a very satisfying step when pretty much you're done. All you have to do is turn your um, case inside out. You might also want to use um, the bone, bone folder so that you can catch all the corners and really um, push them completely out. And then you're done. Ta-da! Jai Star! I hope you've enjoyed this sunglass cases tutorial. I hope you make your own sunglasses cases and hopefully out of cork leather as well. I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!